You're about to enter a world of mystery, where everything and anything can be unexpected. You're about to enter the Unboxing Zone. I'm Mark Rodriguez here, and this is the Messy Craze. a delicious box full of all kinds of different Mexican snacks. And um, there's different sizes. This is the smallest one, but you can actually order like a larger box that I guess has like uh, maybe twice or even three times as much of Mexican snacks. So it's pretty cool. And uh, let's see what happens. The uh, first couple of boxes were very like tamarind heavy. Last time a lot of the snacks were like very, uh, a lot of pineapple related snacks. So let's see what's the theme this time. Let's check it out because I can't wait. So let's see here. This one's kind of weird. It doesn't even say Mexi Crepe on it, man. Like I don't know what's going, what's going on there. And I can't tell which direction to open this one. I guess it's from here. So let me... Yeah, that one's pretty weird. I don't know what happened. Like, they don't even have the... They don't even have the, uh... What do they call it? They don't even have the... Like, the logo is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that should be it. So I guess it's here. Make sure it's this size so it's not like throwing over place. Okay, good. So you guys can check it out before I can. Next time, guys, please have the uh, regular boxes you all have, you know. So let's see what's going on. So first of all, let me see this. This came in the bag. Interesting. So there's like a bag full of different snacks. We'll check it out in a bit. There's a couple of snacks that are not in this bag. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. There you go. And let's see here. So... We got Luca Squinkles. Um, like I want to say the word Squinkle means something, but I can't. I can't like no. Like, I can't uh, remember what it was for. But it was some kind of slang term or some kind of something. I don't even want to say what it is because I don't know. But it's been a long time since I heard the word Squinkle. But we got Squinkle here. Some spaghetti. Yep. So it's like long, chewy. You know. Um, I guess ropes of goodness, which is obviously. As you can tell here, watermelon flavored. So there you go. Then we have Frescas Juegatelas from Nestle. Nestle, we say Nestle over there. And they look like those chocolate eggs and they're full of stuff like strawberry flavor, vanilla flavor, and whatever the green one is, maybe lemon. No, it just says, um, like flavors, colors, you know, colors, but not actual flavors. Let me see what it says here. No. I guess you just kind of guess. I'm thinking the green one has to be lemon flavored or something. But yeah, lemon, cream, strawberry. We'll see. Now I'll check out the bag. It's kind of weird how I did it this time where a lot of snacks are in the bag. Okay, so first we got Unicornio, which is unicorn. Lollipops. Park candy lollipop. There we go. Pretty cool. There's some pieces in here, so I don't know if it's in either like it's powdered or it kind of shattered, you know, with the, the you know the traveling, the mailing. I think it is. I think it's powder. Yeah. Park candy lollipop with artificial blueberry flavor and acidulated powder. Don't know what the hell acidulated means, but okay. So here we've got another lollipop. Paleta. Malvaboni pop with, with malvavisco, which is um, strawberry. Strawberry, I'm stupid. Which is marshmallow. Okay, so here we got a marshmallow candy pop covered in chocolate. You can tell they haven't been doing my Spanish that much in a good while. Johnny was the one that, you know, he does his Spanish more frequently than I do. So, you know. So here we got another one of these pop type candies. It's uh, BB Fruitix pop. I can't tell. Pretty weird. I can't tell what this is. We'll check it out now. Maybe I'll open this one. You know, try to open one or two per show. So then we got a bunch of small little candy things. So let's see. So he, this is uh, Pulparin Dots, which are little candy balls, tamarind candy. So we got tamarind candy with liquid tamarind fill, um, filling. There we go. I was going to say feeling because that's what they probably would have pronounced it over there. In Mexico, we basically read the words out loud with Mexican phonetics, so that's why. Here we got Reyerindos, which is, I guess, candy that got, like, um, that got, um, what can I say, tamarind um, filling. 
And again, like I said, like the Mexican phonetics, like here, like the little character is saying, I am feeling fine. It's like feeling, but it's, you would read it as feeling. It kind of makes the joke say, oh, I am feeling fine. You know what I mean? So that's kind of a bit of Mexican wordplay. It doesn't really make as much sense in English. So then we've got these little chocolate swirl things with no name or no grand. They look a little bit different for the typical American candy, but you know, it's like these little um, cow tail caramel type things. So there you go. Then we've got uh, Bubalo, which is, you know, gum. Mora Azul, so that's blueberry. That's the blueberry stuff this time. So we've got these little gums. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but they're, they're real small and everything. And finally, we've got Acidularitos, ac 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 which I guess are acidy or sour. A lot of times they're called acidy, it kind of means they're sour. Sour candies that are. This might be strawberry flavor, this might be lemon flavor, oops, another strawberry, no, this is cherry, cherry flavor, and this is orange flavor, and all of them, these are real tall, not tall, these are real small, but yeah, these are real small ones right there. Okay, so I'm curious, first I'll try this one real quick, and I'll try one of these to see like just how spicy or, or sour, or, or maybe both, oh god, maybe both, they are. So let me get this uh, torn up and everything. Come on guys, as long as I can get one little cut in there, I can uh, take off the rest of the stuff. So let me see what this is. Oh, the lights flicker? Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, it's covered in dust. Okay, so this theme is a lot of, wait, is this? Oh, okay, so this is the candy. Mm hmm. It's like in the candy. And. Oh, I think the point is that you suck on the candy. There you go. You unscrew this. Is this breaking up? Oh, shit, it's breaking apart? What? That's fucked up. Okay, well. Okay, so the point is, which now I gotta be careful so I don't have this dust all over the place. I have to tape it up or something. But the point is, you take this pop here. You dip it in the presumably either sour or spicy blueberry powder and suck it up that way. Hmm. Don't know how that works because the powder gets all stuck to the thing. Hmm. That's kind of kind of weird, but I guess that's how the that, I guess that's how it works, right? Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ooh, mm, yeah, it's sour. So it's a mixture of sweet or sour, and now I gotta put it in a certain way because if I don't, this powder's gonna spill all over the damn place. Oh fuck! Because not only is this powder gonna go to waste, but I also want to make a big old mess. So finally, let's try one of these. This is the orange one, so you guys can see me suffer with how spicy or or sour, it's got a little fire on it, a little fire growing, so obviously it's spicy and stuff. And I'll conclude the video as I torment myself, because I mean, we love, back in the day anyways, we love Mexican spicy stuff, so. All right, taffy candy. Mmm. Mmm. It gets more sour as you eat it. I mean, yeah, it's sour and spicy, but not that bad. Not that bad. I'm thinking if I eat like all four of them one after another, or you get like a like a container full of them and you're popping them, you know. I'm thinking after a while it might kind of build up and get hot, but this is like. This is like beginner spice. If you want to try spicy candy, try these guys before you go into like heavier stuff. You know what I mean? So anyways guys, the Mark Green is here. That's uh, this month's Max, uh, Maxi Crate. This month's Mexi Crate. And I'll be finishing this one because I'm very nervous about it falling and making a big mess anywhere. So I'm going to finish this when the video's over. And we'll see you all next time.